Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Misner Media tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at doing a picture in picture effect in DaVinci Resolve. This was a suggestion I got and it was something I'd never even considered doing. So without further ado, let's jump to DaVinci Resolve and get started. So here I'm just going to drag my two clips in, got some excellent footage of this incredibly talented person. I wonder who that could be. And we're going to make a pretend like YouTube cover thing. So got some drums and we're going to put our guitar clip right in the middle because it's not framed very well. Well, not right in the middle, down in the bottom corner. So we can do all this in the timeline. Let me just close out some of this stuff so we don't have to see it for a bit. So we've got our guitar clip on top that we're going to put down in the corner. We've got our clip underneath it. So this guy, make sure our inspector is open and then we can bring our zoom down. I would say that looks pretty good and then bring our position over and down and we'll say that looks good and then we've got some extra headroom on here so we can just crop the top off a bit lovely and just for extra goodness we'll crop the right side a bit now that looks you know fine we haven't graded it yet so we'll go just do a really quick grade because this will be a really quick thing so quick grading hmm i wonder what i'm gonna use so go to this guy and we'll do something cool Nice. That looks pretty edgy. Bounce it out a bit. Very stylized. Copy it over here. This clip's a little brighter, so bring it down. Looks great. This guy, we will add a little, little bit of a couple vignettes. So I guess vignettes is what we'll call them. More like a graduated ND over here. So bring that wall down because that's a little bright. And then add a parallel node and make sure you can see some face action because, you know, drummers make great faces when they play so there we go now we can see that super quick and easy now we get that and it's say fine but we really want to make a drop shadow on this and now i don't know if there's a drop shadow effect in resolve i looked for it for a little bit and couldn't find it so instead we're going to do is open up our effects library scroll all the way down to the bottom go to solid color drag this in to make sure that it is below our picture in picture clip beautiful and now you see we just get black behind our picture in picture so what we're going to do is we're going to crop it so crop right and we'll bring it in pretty close we'll be able to adjust this in just a bit so we'll call that good for now bring the top down if you want to leave it like that that's fine you can obviously change the color for this one it'd be cool if it was white but you know i want to drop shadow because you know whatever so then we'll just go soften it out some and see that is bring it out a little too much so we can crop it back in Top down some, get a little bit less soft, and bring our opacity down. And look at that. We got a nice little drop shadow, picture in picture. Got some easy grades, so you want to change the grades a little bit. It's super easy. Go over here. The house let's pack you can obviously download on meastermedia.com slash products. Cliche DSLR, because yeah, that'll be good. YouTube thing. Since we already sort of matched our shots a little bit, it'll be easy to just apply it again. Cliche DSLR. Look at that. Now that looks pretty YouTube-y. This guy could be a little brighter still. In there. And we need some blue in there. Some green in there and blue. Lovely. That looks pretty YouTube-y, I think. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to give it a like, if you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. And if you want even more goodness, go to meesternermedia.com slash products where you can check out the house LUTs pack that we used here. And there's also the Bright Lights Light Leak pack, which would also be great for your YouTube cover videos. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because I'm sure you have friends that know how to play guitar and need to be putting stuff out there because they're really good and they're not putting stuff out there. And, you know, there's a free version of DaVinci Resolve, so there's no reason not to use it. I'm using the free version right now because I wanted to test some stuff. Anyway... Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.